Hi, and welcome to Wonderville. I'm Danielle. I'm Karen. And we're here today to talk to you about quick tips on how to implement design challenges in your classroom. And more specifically, uh, examples of design challenges that you can use. So when you're creating a design challenge, first of all, there's lots that are out there and there's many that you can come up with yourself as well. Um, so there's a whole range. You can go from a very structured design challenge to a very open-ended one. So we'll start with um, structured ones. And even when they're structured, you wanna remember to keep them specific enough where you can manage them, but also open enough where um, students have the ability to be creative. Because remember, with design challenges, there's no one perfect solution. Nope. Yeah. So an example of a structured design challenge is our aluminum boat challenge. So this is where students are asked to uh, build an aluminum boat made from 25, by 20, 25 centimeters by 25 centimeters aluminum foil that will hold the greatest number of coins. Awesome, another example is the infamous spaghetti marshmallow challenge where you're building a structure of spaghetti to hold a marshmallow. Right, and within those structured ones, um, you can always really layer in the constraints to make it more easy or more difficult. So. Um, you, you can say which what is the highest tall, uh, tallest tower that you can mm -hmm. create or what's the tallest tower you can create with the least amount of spaghetti. So there's a lot of variability that can, you can do there with those challenges. The other kind are open-ended, uh, which tend to be more real-world applications um, that students can think about. So for example, um, design a way for someone to stay hydrated on the go. Yeah, or another one that's a good example that I've used in a classroom is create wearable technology. Yeah, so with these ones, um, students are, they're given the problem, but they're not limited with materials as much or with as many constraints. So there's definitely a lot of room for creative freedom. Yeah, and they have that creative freedom to create their own solution to the problem too. It's not just building one type of boat, it's use wearable technology in any type of way that you can. And keeping in mind that both types really serve their own purpose. Exactly. So. How can you prepare your classroom for a design challenge? And so the easiest way that you can do that is recognize that it's a shift of the traditional classroom. Yeah. So you have to create that culture in your class that really allows your students to prosper and engage in active problem solving. Exactly, so it's not now students working independently on a problem that only has one answer, but they're now working in groups, uh, they're troubleshooting, they're building, they're testing and redesigning. Exactly, and so your main job as a teacher is to help ask those probing questions that really get them to create new solutions and more designs and test out everything possible in ways that they didn't necessarily think were solutions in the beginning. Yeah, um, and so other ways as well that, you know, as a teacher, you really just want to be amongst your students. You want to show that interest and curiosity. Um, you know, a huge part is learning alongside your students. So don't yeah. be afraid to not know the answer because we're t as teachers, we normally want to know exactly what the answer is beforehand, but you'll discover throughout this process that you're really learning alongside, alongside them and they'll appreciate that as well. Yeah, and that's the fun part too for you. It makes it really interesting and a great engagement with your students. Yeah, and in general, just have fun with it. Um, your students will will notice, you know, yeah. and, and they'll really, they will, will appreciate that. Build that rapport for sure. Yeah. So thanks for joining us today. We would now love for you to try to implement a design challenge in your classroom. And if you need help with examples, check out our Wonderville resources and other videos that talk about design challenges. And so until next time, I'm Danielle. I'm Karen. And, and we're, we're your Wonderville, Wonderville teachers. teachers.